I was heading north on the A1 and I pulled in at Burbridge to take a look at these monoliths. There's three of them, all in alignment, right next to the A1. Three prehistoric monoliths of millstone grit from 5,000 years ago. This is the first one that's right next to the road. Uh, I think it's about 22 feet. With these kind of deep grooves that run the length of it. Give it a very strange sort of top. It's parked right next to the road so you can just you pull your car up and head in. Over the fence in a farmer's field there's two and this is the uh, this is the one that's right on the border of the field. You can see the deep grooves running and there's my hand to try and give you a bit of a sense of scale. See how it's all weathered. It's probably about five foot uh, thick. And the grooves are a lot more deeper on this side. I think these things run about sort of five foot underground as well to keep it upright. There have been excavations on it. I think there used to be five originally. This one is just plonked in the middle of the field. You can see the farmer ploughing round it. Can you imagine that at Stonehenge? You can see the first one in those clump of trees there. This is the middle one. And the other one in a near perfect alignment is this one. It's right on the edge of the field. Again, this one sort of goes about five foot underground as well. So almost the size of a person underground. Amazing. It again has deep grooves that run the length of it, presumably caused by rain over thousands of years. It's very hard to imagine people thousands of years ago cutting this from the bedrock and transporting it, oh, I think it's about seven miles, it's very hard to imagine transporting it even a few feet. <laughs> there you go. Amazing achievement, prehistoric people. wonder how many tons this is. And I know these stones are bigger than uh, the ones at Stonehenge. I think uh, one of them is the second biggest in England. The Devil's Arrows. <laughs> 